television was the technology that we used in the 80s to you know, get the attention of kids and then steer them back in the direction of literature. And now, you know, this is a, a, a whole new universe. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. But we saw it clearly as an opportunity to reinvent, to reimagine Reading Rainbow as um, a multimedia experience. So I read about 17% of the titles and have really enlisted what I consider to be my A-team of storytellers, not voiceover artists and not just actors, storytellers. And of course there's music in the books and there's video in the app and puzzles and games. I mean we really have gone out of our way to create a multi-dimensional experience of exploration and discovery for kids that is centered around the activity of enjoying a book. I like to say about television that all TV is educational. The question is, what are we teaching? And the same holds true for digital media. It's all educational. Even Angry Birds is a lesson in physics. We heard time after time after time. I grew up on Reading Rainbow. I'm having kids or thinking about having kids and there's nothing out there for my kids like there was Reading Rainbow. So we knew there was an opportunity because there are a lot of challenges in not just translating a television show into a, a digital experience on a tablet computer, but when you're dealing with a beloved, trusted brand, the biggest thing you have to guard against is failing to meet expectations of the audience. And, and so we have spent a lot of sleepless nights um, on this journey really worrying about that very thing. How do we avoid disappointing our audience? I'm sure you're aware there's been a real um, nervousness in the publishing universe about this necessary conversion from print to digital. And um, we saw that there was an opportunity for us to be a solution, really, for publishers in terms of conversion, taking their titles and bringing them to a platform um, that worked, but also discovery. Once you make an app, how do you get attention in a sea of hundreds of thousands of apps? And so bringing the Reading Rainbow brand into the marketplace, we felt was a, a pretty, pretty good answer. At the end of the day, for us at Reading Rainbow, it's all about storytelling. And when you are using storytelling as a tool for education, if you do it well, there's nothing more effective. One of my favorite words in the English language is discernment, right? Discernment. And a visual, a physical metaphor for discernment is a knife because it can be a weapon or a tool. And its use is determined by the one who wields it, right? So the intention of the content creator is really the engine driving that train on whether or not it is a beneficial use of technology or not. I, I am a firm believer that we have the power with this technology, right? Apps and these very engaging tablet devices and, and our delight at interacting with them. It's an incredibly powerful opportunity. We can revolutionize the way we educate our children in this country. We have the technology. We do. You know, we have a motto at Reading Rainbow and at RR Kids, we want to do well by doing good, right? The two are not mutually exclusive. That's why we're here, to really apply our imaginations to the, the process of making our lives better, more interesting, more exciting, not just for ourselves, but for other people. That's the journey.